Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I Will ever figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down I will keep on searching for my highs Say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes Good morning guys and how are we today? I hope that you're all right. I thought I'd just quickly chat to you whilst I'm putting a face on. My face looks so much redder on the camera than what it does in real life. I don't know why it always does. So if you think, oh my god, you've got such a red face, in real life it's not that red. So I quickly just wanted to say thank you so much for all your really nice comments last week. I got some really nice comments about my hair. I was dreading having it taken out. And I have to admit, without it at the moment, there's a lot of pros and cons. I also wanted to let you know as well that obviously because we are going on holiday, I am going to be doing like a pack with me kind of vlog. And I thought in my live vlog, one of you suggested doing like a Q&A kind of thing. And I am more than happy to do a q a so i was thinking about putting the q a within the packing vlog if you know what i mean so if you've got any questions that you've ever wanted to ask me if there's anything that you want to know whether it be like about me or my lifestyle anything like that literally i'll answer anything whatever you want even though i haven't been doing youtube for that long i know from my experience of finding somebody new or following someone there's always a question or a couple of questions that i want to know or i'd like them to go into more detail with if you even know what i mean but yeah if you've got one or two questions or whatever, please feel free to comment down in the description box below and I will answer as many of them as I can. I have to admit, I'm one of them people that I never ask. I just like to be a little bit nosy with people. So if you want to be a little bit nosy with me, I look forward to seeing your questions. Moving forward, if you did watch my... Um, kind of New Year's vlog, I did say in there about trying to lose some weight. Now. I have been trying to lose weight now for, it's either just over 10 days or just under two weeks. I can't really remember. It's just about two weeks. I'm going to put my starting weight out there on the internet for you right now. That was, or whenever it was, we'll go into detail a little bit more later. And then I've weighed myself recently and I shall put that up for you now. I have managed to lose eight pounds. Oh my God. I'm so happy. For this vlog, I want to kind of do like a weight loss journey on YouTube so that hopefully it will motivate me to keep at losing weight because I normally get to the point where I lose stone to stone and then I put it on very slowly over the next year or so. I never get down below like 12 stone. I've always been in the 12 to 14 stone category, mainly in the 13 stone. But I really, really am so motivated into this being the year, I'm not trying to be cliche, this being the year that I make myself feel a little bit better. I don't really have that much of a problem with how I look with clothes on. With clothes off, it's a different picture. And also, as I have already said, doing YouTube, when I look at myself when I'm editing, oh, I just, it's this, literally this here. But I'm planning on doing like a weight loss update roughly like every month just so that you can see if you're interested. Or, I mean, this is a funny angle to do while we're talking about this. If you're trying to lose weight as well, we can kind of like lose weight together. 
and support each other. I do think support is a massive thing when you try and lose weight. I mean, even though I've lost over half a stone, I think quite quickly, I do think a lot of that is it water retention or something. I do think that is a lot of it. For anybody worries, I will still be baking. I am not gonna be stopping my baking. I love baking. I love everything that I make. Alfie loves my baking, Daniel loves my baking. I will not stop doing any baking vlogs at all. I will still be eating it because I think it is just moderation. So please don't worry, all of you lovely people that love the baking vlogs. But we are gonna go and sort this barnet out and then we'll go and make a smoothie. Jumping from cliffs so high Trust in our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground And I, I really want to know, really want to know If I, let's figure out where the road goes Even if I'm falling down, I will keep on searching for my high I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down it's not that bad i had already messed up the recipe because it did say a word in front of it and then coconut like disintegrated coconut or something i really don't like coconut so for some reason <laughs> i picked up condensed milk i have no idea why it did also say to add in rice milk which i haven't got i've got oat milk so i think i'm gonna pour that back in put some oat milk in it blast it again and see how it goes because it's a bit thick it is a bit thick so let's shove that in there for someone who really was against smoothies just because it's the consistency isn't it i was really not looking forward to tasting something that not might not necessarily taste bad but it's just the consistency of like without creeping anybody out or making anybody feel ill the consistency always reminded of like drinking sick i know i shouldn't say it but that's how it always makes me feel now with regards to the recipe you might notice that i basically completely changed it so the beauty of smoothies i think is that you just add what you want into them can't you i mean i don't know <laughs> i don't know how much milk to add in we're learning we're learning as we go along so we'll blast this back out again wash this cup out okay so hopefully it's a little bit less Oh, that's much better that's basically like look at that that's so much oh no there was a big lump it's just the look isn't it it is just it's, it's just the look of them i think i've made it worse let me know in the comments box please if any of you have any nice recipes that you yourself actually use i don't know if i'm going to be converting to a hundred percent smoothie girl but you never know i'm now going to show you my incredibly well mostly healthy shopping haul for the week and after that we'll go and have a sit down where i'll chat to you more about what i'm planning on my weight loss and all that kind of thing okay so i've just laid everything out on the table in preparation to show you but what i thought i would just state very clearly first is that i always do two food shops i always find when you have fruit and veg if you're getting fresh they don't last that long even though I put them in the fridge. So I normally do a food shop on either a Monday or Tuesday and then do another one either Friday or Saturday. I've only actually bought enough food for four meals this week, but I'll show you. So this is my food shop for part of the week. 
as I said. So we've got British miniature potatoes, British carrot, I don't know why I feel the need to say British, <laughs> parsnips, bean sprouts, celery, cucumber which I've just opened, beans, two packs of peppers, baby sweet corn, lettuce, spinach, and then for the meat, I have already got two lots of frozen chicken in the freezer, so I didn't actually need to buy that this week. But we've got some Cumberland sausages, two packs of roast chicken breast fillets in there for my lunches, two lots of fish cakes, ham, grapes and pineapple chunks. And then we're having fajitas this week, as fajitas is one of our favourites, so we've got them for the smoky barbecue ones. Sweet chilli flatbread thins, they're what I'm going to show you that I'm going to be having for my lunch. Noodles for the stir fry, sweet and sour sauce for the stir fry. My oatly milk, which I've just shown you for my smoothies. Lemon juice for my lunches. Sweet chilli sauce, which we have for the fish cakes. And then two lots of green tea. I've never tried green tea before, but I'm very willing to give it a go. What? Whoa. I will now pop all of that away and then we'll go and have like a proper chat. More in depth about what I'm going to be doing over the next year. And showing you some tips and tricks that I'm going to do myself. I mean, if you're not planning or intending to lose anyway, I hope that you find this next bit interesting anyway. Okay, so I thought I'd just do like a little bit of an insight of what I'm going to be doing on my weight loss journey. I basically just want to feel better in myself, have a bit more energy because I don't at the moment, get into a bit more better sleeping habits, doing different forms of exercises, walking more. I'm just going to show you what I'm going to be using to kind of help track my weight. I've only got a few things, so they're very simple. What kind of exercises I'm going to be doing, what areas of my body I want to change, what I'm going to be eating so I'll show you a few recipes that I've got lined up. Before I start though, I think everybody has to say it, don't they? I'm not a doctor, I'm not a trained professional, I have no experience or background in weight loss management, fitness, anything like that. This is literally just what I am doing personally to lose weight. So what I'm going to say, what I'm going to show you, you don't have to do it. Take bits from it if you want to. Don't take anything. Obviously, again, if you're not trying to lose weight and you are one of my absolutely lovely subscribers that's just watching it because you are, thank you firstly. But I just want to be open and honest with you about what I'm doing in my day to day life because that is the whole point of me filming all this. And I really want to be able to share it with you, really. I feel like I'm not doing it on my own. I really do feel like you're my friends and friends share things with each other. That's a very wacky background, but thank you for staying with it. So firstly, I'll tell you exactly what I'm going to use to help me kind of track my weight. I bought one of these ages ago, these scales, and they're really, really good. I think they're called one by one. And if you've got an iPhone, I don't know about Android or any of the other types of phones, but there's an app there and it tells you literally all your different measurements. I'll pop one of my weight pictures on here now just so that you can have a look, but it literally tells you about your muscle mass. I can't exactly remember what the things are there, but you'll see it on screen. If you haven't got any scales, I don't think that they were expensive. I think they were about £20. I've just found them really helpful. The second thing I'm going to use is another app, which is my Fitness Pal. I have used this for years and years and years and it's the only app that I've found actually helped me lose weight. I always set my daily calorie goals, my carb goals, my fat goals. And the best feature that I think it has is that you can scan barcodes of things. So instead of typing in, I don't know, jacket potato, if your potatoes come in a bag, which mind you, I don't know if you can buy them loose. I think you can, I'm not sure. You just scan the barcode of that potato bag and it will literally tell you exactly what is in it, how many calories it is, how many carbs there are. And then that way you stay within your goals a lot better. I've also started using or began to start using their intermittent, intermittent, I can never say this, intermittent fasting bit that they have on there. Is that how you say it? Intermittent fasting has worked for me in the past and it worked really, really well. I am going to do it, but I'm not going to do it until I come back from holiday. Because I've got this holiday coming up, I know full well that I am going to be putting weight back on. I know full well that I am really not going to be eating well at all. I never eat breakfast, but I know for a fact that I will be eating breakfast, lunch and dinner. And they will probably be snacking in between. There will be some drinking, but 
instead of my old mindset where I thought I'll just start when I come back from holiday I've lost eight pounds so far so if I put eight pounds back on again I'm no heavier than I was before I went so that is the kind of mindset that I am trying to get myself into but I will update you with the intermittent fasting in my next like little catch up with the weight loss now you can pay for premium I think it's my fitness pal premium but I don't you can get all different meals and stuff on that which I have done in the past I found it very helpful but I'm one of those people I'm not very good at sticking to set diets or set meal plans or you have to have this on this day this on this day this on that day I am not very good with that I'll start off for like a week and then I'll look at it and I'm like I don't want that I don't like that and I'll put that in that instead of that. I'm just going to be going and doing my own meal planning, my own recipes. They're going to be probably very similar to ones I already do but I'm just going to be switching out so instead of having rice in some meal I'll be having cauliflower. That worked a hell of a lot in the past. So for example if I had chilli you can get cauliflower rice but instead of paying the premium that you pay for cauliflower rice I just buy cauliflower and just mush it up. It doesn't taste as nice as rice with the chilli, but I want to lose weight and it fills you up. I also become very obsessive with writing things down. If you'd have watched my last week's vlog, I like a list, I like to plan things, and I like to see a result. So I will show you my actual notes that I have that worked really well for me last time. I'll just go through them with you as we go. Okay, so I've randomly been able to connect my laptop up to the TV. I just thought it was such an easy way to show you exactly what I mean. So I always have my goals here. My starting weight on the third was 14 stone. My current rate, my current weight is 13 stone sticks and my goal weight is 10 stone. So in total, I've got four stone to lose. Now, <laughs> Don't laugh at this, but I always find having something that I can remove from one thing and put on another, it just brings me so much joy. So these are my four stones that I need to lose. Each sloth, I chose a sloth because they're lazy and I am lazy. So I thought it was quite relatable to myself. Every sloth is a pound in weight and every flamingo is a stone. So then my little peacock over here he is my four stone goal every time i lose a pound i take it off the to lose pile and pop it in the lost pile and then obviously i have my quarter of the way there halfway there three quarters of the way there which i love as i said before a tick list so i will tick these off as we go as you can see i'm near enough a quarter of the way through already i do know though that it will slow down you do lose a lot of weight in your first couple of weeks anyway so if i can average it out to one to two pounds a week i'll be happy i will not be doing this in 14 weeks that's what i've written out at the moment and then i also like to have like little goals to work to so every time i hit a goal i'll put my little trophy next to it i hope that this makes sense i don't know why i am showing you this but i am so the first exercises that i'm going to be doing are yoga i've never done yoga before in my life i've always wanted to do yoga and i find that this lady in particular yoga with adrienne is just she's so nice i really really like her and they are very good for beginners she does have a load for beginners which again i am going to be doing i don't have time to go out and go to a yoga class so it's just nice to have something that i could do in the morning like i did this morning but definitely check her out if you are into yoga and never heard of her before and then the second channel that i'm going to be going on is the body project now i really like these i really like these a lot i used to do these classes when i lost weight before and i found this one in particular a really really useful and really well done workout i mean he is very easy on the eye so <laughs> i really don't mind watching him work out while i work out and i love it because they have different body types in the video so if i'm struggling i know that i can look at this lady here who absolutely gives it her all and think go on girl you're doing it so i can do it just as well as this gentleman here who can i just say as oh that's my door sorry i just had a delivery yeah the other guy is the guy that gives me the most inspiration this guy here 
you got me through working out and i've watched this video many many times honestly if you're not very good with any kind of workouts at all please 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 give this one a go it's only half an hour long so it gives you the option so it's easily done from home i thought i'll just show you parts of the body that i'm not happy with and that i want to kind of change starting with my wings here look at them way I could take off with them and also like this bit here I mean I know that you're always gonna have this bit but when I have a bra on normally it just it makes it look even worse as I said earlier my chin I want to try and get my chin down lose some inches off my thighs hips and waist and then most importantly I know that you can't see half of my face I can't quite get the angle any different if I don't do it like this. The most important thing, after I'd had Alfie, I never really lost the baby weight. And I now, I have to have a cesarean. So they say it's the shelf that you get left with. Now, I mean, I know it's purely because I just haven't lost any weight. And I keep blaming it on having a baby, but that baby is going to be four this year. So I can't blame it on that anymore. But I hate this bit. So, I mean, it's this here. I mean it's like a double roll if you know what I mean and oh, I just hate it I hate it so much so even if I can get a little bit off of there I have a little trick for you that somebody told me I think it was my mother now I know that some people do measure inches I don't have a, a tape measure if you use a bit of string stand on the bottom of the string cut it to your height so you take your piece of string that is obviously oh my god Are you supposed to be, is your arm span supposed to be as long as your body? If it isn't, that's just incredibly weird that that's exactly like my wingspan. <laughs> yeah, anyway, sorry, I was getting distracted. So take your piece of string, connect it at the end, and then if you tie it around your waist, like so, that should give you the measurement of what your waist should be or like the proportion of your body. So as you can see, I have a little way to go. So I have that much to go. What I'm also going to do, so I'm gonna keep this bit of string, if I can try and do this one-handed. I'm gonna measure the size of my arms as well at their biggest point. And then also my legs as well, because I have a chunky legs. Always have done and probably always will do. That is my leg. And that way we have three measurements to go off for when I next weigh myself and then also when I next check in with you. So please make sure you, I don't know why I'm, please make sure you tune in for that. It will roughly be in about a month or so. Right, I'm going to pop my clothes back on again. We are going to prepare some lunch because it is quarter past one. Where has the day gone? I had to stop for an hour because my phone storage was full and so then I had to upload them onto my computer. So I've literally lost an hour of today. So I have found this very easy three ingredient creamy rotisserie chicken salad to me it literally has like obviously three ingredients these are the kind of recipes that are just my go-to for the day because there's no faffing around there's no messing about literally just chicken celery but i've switched out the celery and i'm gonna put cucumber in it i'll also pop in a few recipe links in the description box below just of a few dinners a few lunches that i'm gonna be trying out i always think it's handy to see what other people eat and then to be fair if i see somebody else cooking something whether it's healthy or not if there's stuff in there that i don't like i literally follow that recipe and then swap it with something that i do like so go ahead and check them out as well it's half past one so we'll get something to eat. It never rings in California The sun is always shining bright People are smiling, making plans Hiding behind their shades And you're doing the same that's nice very simple got to add in the cracked black pepper didn't i but with these things they've got like a hint of sweet chili in them so to be fair you don't actually even need the cracked black peppers i don't know about you but i am always the one when i go on a diet like chicken salad cheese salad tuna salad 
but my salad ingredients consist of literally lettuce and cucumber the, it's the only things that I like in a salad. I hope you've enjoyed today's vlog. I feel like I'm very much veering away from my usual content that I like to film and apologies for that. It won't be like this forever. I've just got a few things planned for the next couple of weeks. It won't be like my usual content like walking, baking, cooking because I really really enjoy doing all that but at the same time I do want to put something different out there and I have to admit I was a little bit sad. After I posted my new year's vlog I actually lost four subscribers. I know that it's not many to a lot of people but I'm just sad that four of those people didn't want to carry on watching my vlog and it's the first time that that's ever happened. I've had one or two go here and there but not like four from one video so it is what it is. I'm so thankful to everybody that is still subscribed and I love you all. All the new people this week as well. I've loved chatting to you. Please continue to be posting your comments down below. I love, love, love to reply to every single one of you. It makes my day, it really does. But I promise as the spring months come on, I've got so much planned. We'll go back to doing similar vlogs like how I used to with hauls in there. Just the bits and bobs. I was just very worried that I didn't want my channel to get very samey as well. But then at the same time I didn't want to be like so different that people are like well this is not what I originally subscribed for so thank you for bearing with please let me know if you are even interested in the weight journey because if nobody is then I'll just hit that nail on the head and I'll just do it with myself this vlog has turned extremely chatty I don't know I'm just doubting myself a little bit this week which is the first time that I've ever had it so I'm rambling on I'm really really sorry for rambling on I just love talking to you and it just comes out <laughs> I have something special planned for next week hold on right there and I'll show you <gasps> Some of you guys requested a haul and boy have I got a haul for you. I also know that I said that I would not say what's going to be happening in next week's vlog but this will definitely be happening so I'm in control of that. As always thank you again so much for watching. Please let me know what you think in the comments down below blocks below if you've liked this video please go ahead and give it a like rating if you've watched all the way through to this part of the vlog and you're not subscribed you know what to do you've come this far you might as well carry on see what's in them bags next week so go ahead and click the subscribe button pop on your notification bell so that you know exactly when my vlogs go live i will see you next week take care of yourself guys Bye bye